Hello and welcome to Rock Solid Productions and a Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. In this video, we're going to talk about, well, some of the gifts that Santa brought because I still believe in Santa Claus. Hey everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions and first and foremost, I just wanted, again, like I said in the intro there, I wanted to wish each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas, a blessed Christmas, and I hope that uh, I hope that you got everything that you needed and maybe not quite everything that you wanted. That gives you a little bit for the next year as well. Um, also, it's good to want, but I just wanted to kind of go through some really cool stuff that I got for Christmas this year and share it with each and every one of you. The first thing that I've got here is this is the Game Boy Color Change Glass. And the cool thing about it, and I'll take it out of the box, is it's a really kind of cool tumbler and everything. And it's a little cold in here right now, but when it gets cold, you can kind of see how it shows like the actual Game Boy screen and everything on there. Really nice heavy, heavy glass on there. Very cool thing for drinking my cold beverages. I'm a soda drinker myself, not pop, soda. So pretty cool there next up is i had seen these in some of the stores and dropped some hints and i got one now this is just like i don't know how to explain it uh this is built by culture flies the name of the company that put it out but as you can see it looks exactly like a super nintendo at least the american super nintendo it even the bottom looks like an american super nintendo and inside the box it has a number of different items it has kind of a, a plushy controller and has a coffee mug. And just like the tumbler that I showed you when you put something hot in this one, it actually shows the Game Boy display on there. Set this down here. A Super NES style backpack and yes I know I'm way too big for this but if I go places and I take my NES classic or Super NES classic with me it's perfect size for that it does come with it says it comes with one like surprise item in the box and that is the pin here that looks like a super or looks like an any actually yeah that's weird so this is the Super NES pack but that looks like the NES controller a little bit of a mess comes with a Game Boy style notepad, which is pretty cool. Comes with a Nintendo console coin, and it actually does have on the back official Nintendo seal of quality. And perhaps what I think is the coolest, and that's this guy here, and I'm gonna open that up right here on camera. Actually, I'm gonna step over here because I have my knife, bear with me. So what's cool about this one, and honestly, this is one of the biggest reasons why I wanted one of these packs, is these are coasters. Because, you know, being an adult now, you have to worry about things like ring marks on furniture. So you have, that looks like, you know, this is what you hold the coaster in, which is, you know, the trademark uh, cartridge holder. So you have Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario 3, Duck Hunt. I, I forgot that this was available as a separate cartridge. That's too cool. And Metroid. But the Super Mario Brothers is my personal favorite that's on here. So um, really cool set here. Um, so if those two things were not enough, this next thing blew me away. So you guys have heard me on the channel talk about live action games here in Champaign, Illinois. Uh, Adrian, the owner, and I have gotten to be pretty good friends. Uh, if you haven't checked out their Facebook page, I will have their information down below in the more info section. Um, I had gone in there probably between Halloween and Thanksgiving, and they had an orange GameCube from Japan with the Game Boy Player, with the Game Boy Player disc. Never seen one in the flesh before. I've seen uh, Kinsey Burke has had one on her channel. I think Metal Jesus Rocks has had one on his. A couple other people I've seen online. And I'm still kind of redoing 
what I've got here. Um, but the one system I didn't own again, but I've owned in the past, was a GameCube. And he was asking a very reasonable price for it. And I hemmed and hawed, walked out of the store, and I didn't buy it. Kicked myself about it. Got home, told my girlfriend about it. And she's like, oh, that's pretty neat. A couple weeks later, I went back to pick something else up. And uh, I looked on the shelf, and it was gone. And I was bummed out because I was actually going to pull the trigger, and I was going to buy it. Well, the reason why it was gone is because it was in a box that someone, my girlfriend, went and that night after I got off the or after I got home, she called Adrian at Live Action Games and said, "Hey, you've got this Japanese GameCube thing. I don't know anything about games, but can you hold it for me and I'm going to come in and pick it up." So I have a Japanese GameCube which just is outstanding. I haven't had a GameCube since before the Wii came out. I think I traded it. In. Actually, I may have traded my GameCube in on the Wii, uh, which I got at launch. But So I have a Japanese orange GameCube with the Game Boy Player. And it also has on the bottom, or not on the bottom, but included with it, it has the Game Boy Player with manual and disc. So... It is a complete setup. Now the controller is just a generic uh, purple GameCube controller. I don't care. I will eventually probably find an orange one to match this. I'll probably replace the Game Boy player itself eventually with an orange one. Um, definitely need some retro bright work on here. But then again, my Famic or my Super Famicom, which is down there, my Super NES. I need to do it to all of them. So once it gets a little bit warmer out this year, I will take all of them apart and I will retrobrite them. Um, I've already been talking to Kinsey Burke and John Riggs about this bad boy, talking about what I've got to do to mod this so I can play NTSC games that were released here in the U.S. So um, yeah, this is the first time. Actually, this is the first time I've received a Nintendo video game system for Christmas ever. Everything else that I've ever bought, and, oh no, that's not true, my NES was a Christmas present. I went with my dad ahead of time to help pick it up, um, and I actually got in trouble because I knew where they hit it, and I set it up ahead of time, and I was playing Super Mario Brothers. So what I did is I left the box where my parents had hit it, and I took my NES that I was going to get, well, I got it, but I, they didn't know that I had it. I put it in the bottom drawer of my desk because it hit it perfectly, and I had TV sitting on my desk. I routed the power cables and everything up so nobody could see it. Um, I did get busted with that. My old man almost took it and returned it uh, on me, but that uh, this is the first Nintendo console I've gotten as a Christmas present since the original NES, so that was very cool. I... Uh, uh, Adrian, you and I are going to have words. Uh, thank you very much for, for helping make this happen. But, uh, yeah, it's got a handle, and it's orange. Um, yeah, this is just way too cool. So I want to know what you guys got for Christmas, too. Let me know down in the comments. I absolutely want to hear what you guys and gals out there got. Uh, also, let me know on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Productions. Um, I want to see it. I want to hear about it. Also, if you do have any comments or questions, uh, I'm probably going to end up doing a video showing the mod of this. It's relatively easy to do. You do need to have some basic soldering skills, which I do have. Um, so I may do a video showing how I take this apart, how to do the mod itself. You literally just have to solder two wires and put a switch in the system somehow, and uh, you're good to go. So uh, if you do have any questions about that too, feel free again, leave them down in the, in the comments section. You can also go ahead and email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Or if uh, you have any products that you'd like to have us feature or review on the channel, you can also have uh, get in contact with us via that method too. You can also visit us up on Twitter at Rock Solid Studios, Facebook page, as I mentioned, facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions. And uh, you can also go ahead, visit Live Action Games on their Facebook page. I'll have their information right here. And uh, yeah, this if you can't tell, I am super excited for this. So um, I really hope that you guys and gals out there had a great Christmas, a great Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, that you just had a good time with friends and family, uh, that the, uh, the, the joy of the season just wasn't everything that you guys were doing out there. So uh, definitely this is something that has blown me away. And uh, 
I would get even with a couple people over this one. So, but thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. And Merry Christmas.